Hello my dear viewers and welcome back to the channel. This is an Ed Sharpner production and my name is Rashmi. We are launching two new playlists on our channel today. One of them is of course word of the day. Today's word is abattoir. It's a French origin word which is why it is mostly used only in British English. Its plural is abattoirs. It means a slaughterhouse. A slaughterhouse is a place where animals are butchered especially for meat. We will be updating similar new words with each upcoming video. Our next playlist is verbal ability in the general aptitude section of English grammar. I'm beginning with the parts of speech, which is the basic of English grammar. We all know that there are eight parts of speech. They are the noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. In this video, we talk about the noun. The noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. Now let us look at the kinds of nouns. There are five kinds of nouns. They are proper noun, common noun, abstract noun, collective noun, and material noun. Now let us look at these in detail. A proper noun. They are the names of particular persons, places or animals. Okay, now let us look at some examples of what a particular name is. For example, if it is a person, they have a particular name like John, Arjun, Deepika, etc. Right? For places like London, New Delhi, etc. And pets. Not all animals have names, but pets have names. Then they can be thought of as particular nouns like Tom Cat and Jerry Mouse, etc. Okay, the next type is a common noun. The names common to a certain class of persons, places, animals, or things are called as common noun. For example, a boy, girl, man, woman. They are types of person. For places, the places can be big like a city or a river, a mountain, a mountain range or a village, etc. Or animals and things. These types of nouns which define a certain class of persons, places, animals or things are called common nouns. The next one is an abstract noun. The word abstract itself means something which does not have a physical or concrete existence. That something exists as an idea or a quality, a state, a condition, etc. This type of nouns cannot be seen or touched. They can only be felt. For example, you cannot see or touch honesty, but you just know that a certain person is honest or not. State of mind like happiness, gloom, panic are also abstract nouns. Some conditions like childhood, adulthood, disease are also abstract nouns. Now abstract nouns usually have the following suffixes. Ness like happiness or sadness. Ants for example appearance or clearance. Hood then we have itty. Examples formality or relativity. Then we have ship, for example, scholarship, friendship, meant, achievement, enjoyment, T-I-O-N, which is pronounced as shun, for example, imagination or fascination, age, examples, west age, marriage, or D-O-M, dumb, <laughs> not dumb, D-O-M, dumb, for example, wisdom, fandom. And of course, there are other abstract nouns without these suffixes, like gloom or panic. Alright, moving on, we have the next type, collective noun. They are the names of collections of similar types of persons or things. They are always singular, unless each individual is acting differently. Okay, for example, a mob. Okay, a mob of angry people. It is a group of angry people, but it is always written as singular. 
a family a family of mother father brothers sisters grandfathers grandmothers etc a bunch a bunch of roses a bunch of sticks okay an army of soldiers a team of players a flock of birds a jury of judges a galaxy of stars see all of these nouns are a group of something yet they are used as a singular moving on to the next topic we have material noun the fifth type of noun these are the names of materials or substances out of which things are made for examples wood or metals like copper and gold clay plastic cloth etc 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 these are not classified as any other four types they are called as material nouns now that we have finished learning all the kinds of nouns let us look at a few questions use the different noun forms of the verb act in the following sentences take a minute to pause the video and read all the sentences and also think of all the noun forms of the verb act okay so did you get it there are three noun forms of the verb act they are action activity and activeness we have to use these three forms in these three sentences now decide which comes where now looking at the sentences action comes in the first sentence taking strict action against the criminals is a must then learning should be activity oriented which is correct and the minister's activeness in the matters of stately affairs was impressive is correct this kind of understanding comes with vocabulary coming to the next question we have to complete the relationships the question is celebrity is to popularity as criminal is to what now a celebrity is popular okay a person who is popular for good things is called as celebrity the opposite of celebrity is criminal someone who is famous for bad things is called as notorious and hence the opposite of popularity is notoriety which is again a noun the next relationship is owls is to what as crows is to murder now this is an example of collective nouns a group of crows is called as a murder similarly a group of owls is called as a parliament now this is something you just have to remember it is part of vocabulary now coming to the next question her lover's love for her was absolute in the above sentence love the word love has two noun forms can you guess which is which pause the video for a moment and think now let's see did you get it correct the lover is a common noun the other noun love is an abstract noun it cannot be seen in the next video we will learn about singular and plurals genders and countable and uncountable nouns if you like this video please let us know don't forget to comment and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel tab tak ke liye gyan pite rahiye thank you